Yeah. No, I mean this is this was great, and it's it's great because um, Felix, being a classical player, I always thought this was apropos because it looks like a looks like you know a uh, cello, whatever. It has a beautiful feel to it. It looks classy, and um, he played it like it was a like it was. A, it was a toothpick. He'd pick it up, Jerry, and I remember going back then. He'd be like, you know, he'd be up like, what, what happened? I'm going, wait a second, that fucker's heavy. But he didn't give a shit. He had it, you know, and he had these skinny little arms. I don't know where he got it, but he was like, you know, just really strong. And you have to be strong to play this. Uh, but I got to tell you, Al, I just can, I just remember he played it on every show, and this was his baby. And um, again, it resembles all the class that was Felix Papillardi. It really was. It was great. I mean, you know, coming as a, you know, coming as a newcomer with Leslie and Felix, when they brought out these things, uh, the, you know, the look, the whole thing was quite a landscape. Mm -hmm. You know, you were breaking the ground. You were inventing the sounds. You gotta scream at me, Al. I can't hear you. You were breaking ground. You were inventing yeah. the sounds that would yeah. become. Well, I've got to tell you, this is you know. funny because I spent time, they invited me to these heavy metal conferences mm -hmm. over in England, Finland. You know, they had these, you know. Yeah. Uh, You've uh, become quite popular. We had the heavy metal thing. And I don't, you know, I don't really give a fuck what it's called if they if they invite me and they want to. So they had this, it was a seven day heavy metal conference and they had everybody, you know, all the, all the scary ones, the gothic, you know, the industrial metal, and they had, a, you know, they, they wanted to know, you know, where, how heavy metal was invented. I had no fucking idea what to say, so I remember a classroom, you know, like, like you know, lecture, and I remember I grabbed, I saw, I usually bring drumsticks in my bag, I took the drumstick, a wooden drumstick, I said, this is where heavy metal came, <laughs> and I went, how are you gonna follow that that up, Corky? And I said, you realize when I started playing, this stick had to hit the drums as hard as possible to be able to be heard out there in the arenas <laughs> from these huge stacks of fucking, you know, of, uh, marshals. This is the only thing. I didn't have those sophisticated microphones. I had to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> and the only way that Tom Toms could cut with that, I didn't need the bottom sound. I used timbales, and that would cut like a nuclear warhead. And that's because the timbales were metal. People like, I don't know, people like Bobby Rondinelli and uh, um, what's his name with Jeff Beck? Uh, Cozy Powell. Cozy Powell, those guys, you know, they said, man, fucking, fucking heavy metal. And I went, okay. <laughs> but it was, it was more just a desperacy to, to be heard. But basically, <laughs> it, you know, heavy metal now is taking a whole different, a whole different uh, cachet. The point is, is that um, Felix and Mountain had a tone that was the beginning of not get. It was the only record you ever bought that said, sounds better played loud. Nobody had put that on a record. And I remember fucking, when, when, whoever the company was saying, no, you can't put that on there. The parents won't like it. The kids are well, you gotta play it that loud, mom, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I remember that. And I guess that's what did it, you know? Because, you know, when, at the time you asked, well, are you, a hard, are you a rock band? Well, hard rock, what's the difference between rock and hard rock? Let me start with, are you a metal band? Well, we're not really metal because this, but Leslie, Leslie was ahead of his time because even in 1986, Koran came out in England and Leslie kept, we gotta do metal. We gotta, we gotta just keep it fucking, so we gotta, and I said, oh, okay, whatever. And it turned out that he was right because that was the beginning of fucking ACDC. I don't even call them heavy metal. Uh, who else? Uh, you know, um, fuck, I can't think right now. Um, Lemmy, who was Lemmy with? Motorhead. Motorhead. Motorhead and all those guys. And, and you know, they all bowed down to Leslie. And I'm going, hey, Les, look at these guys, you know. And you know, Jeff Beck, you know, the very best guitar player living today, all that shit. And uh, Leslie was way ahead. The thing is, is that it's just whatever happens, happens. So that's this thing.